Hi, Dr. Paul White here, and we're talking about how individuals' primary languages of appreciation uh, are related to the ways that they may be easily offended in the workplace. And uh, acts of service is an important language uh, uh, for a lot of people. Uh, and one of the things that we've learned is that for people that acts of service uh, are important to them, they are really important to them. You may remember sayings like, you know, words are cheap or don't tell me you care, show me. That's how these people think. And if you don't do something actively to sort of show that they're of value and you want to support them, it doesn't matter how much you say, what kind of words you use, you're really not going to hit the mark. What's interesting though is that um, there's some ways to not help them out well. The first way really is to focus on words, really, uh, that you're just encouraging them and saying, wow, way to go. Hope you get that project done. And uh, then you take off with your friends and you guys go to the sports bar or whatever to watch the game and say, hey, come catch us when you're, you know, you're caught up. That's not going to go well for these people. So you need to be aware that at least offering to help out, they may not always take you up on it, but at least offering to help out or if there's a little something you could do, like even run and get them you know, some dinner while they're working so they don't have to go do that, something little that can help out. Now, for some people that acts of service is important, it's less about getting the task done and that they just like doing it with people, that they sort of like the camaraderie of doing that. And so finding out if there's some little task you can do with them and you sort of chat while you're doing it can be helpful. But one of the things you don't want to do is sort of correct them or tell them how to do it better. Most of these people have thought through what they're doing and they have a process that works for them. It may not be the process that works for you. And so it's not the time, and there may be another time, but this is not the time to sort of tell them, hey, have you thought about doing it this way? Especially if you're just standing back and watching them do it and sort of hanging out while they're working. Don't give them any you know, um, input on ways to do it differently. So ask them you know, if they'd like some help. And you know, lots of times people say no initially, so push through it and say, no, I got some time, I'd be glad to help you out. And lots of times, just that little act, and it could be 10 or 15 minutes, can really uh, boost them and have a, a sense of support and loyalty, uh, both from you and from them. And so be aware, though, that um, don't just talk to them and don't correct how they're doing it, otherwise it probably won't go well.